<laughs> Unseasonably warm temperatures across much of Canada might be a welcome surprise for most of us, but you know what else it brings? Ticks. Those creepy bugs remain active even when temperatures are up four degrees Celsius or higher. As of Monday, the forecast was warm enough for them to thrive in large cities that include Vancouver, Toronto, Ottawa, and Halifax. With us this morning with more is Assistant Professor of Biology at Acadia University, Laura Ferguson. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, according to eTIC, which was a new place for me, a tick population tracking platform, winter tick sightings are on the rise. Just over 200 were recorded in the winter of 2020. Nearly 400 were seen last season. How are they shaping up so far this season, 2024? Yeah, exactly. And that, that platform is a fantastic resource, just in case your viewers aren't familiar with it. So um, eTIC is this uh, uh, yeah, platform, as you've said, where you can upload pictures of a tick that you found on yourself or on your pet or just crawling around somewhere. Um, and someone will identify it for you, tell you what species it is, if you need to go maybe get some antibiotics, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's also allowing us as researchers to track some larger trends across the country as well. And in terms of seasonal activity and, and what's been picked up. So yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. That four degrees Celsius threshold's been kicking around for a while. And that's exactly what we see when we take ticks into the lab and we experimentally expose them to a range of different temperatures. Four degrees is about where we start to see a real uptick in activity. They can move around a little bit below that, but that's around where we start to see a whole bunch. And, and as it warms up from there, more and more become active. So <laughs> Yeah, so through the winter, uh, basically what we're kind of saying at this point is every season is tick season. Ooh. For our black-legged ticks, we get this big peak in sort of the spring and early summer of activity, and then it kind of diminishes a little bit through the later summer, and then we get another big peak in late or sort of early to late fall here as well. So you're going to see a lot around this time of year, especially if you're above four degrees. Really? And then even through the winter, December, January, February, as long as it's warm enough out and we don't have a big thick layer of snow cover that they're underneath, then you're at risk of finding them and having them encounter you. Yeah. An uptick in ticks, no pun intended. Listen, if climate change, yeah, if climate change is allowing ticks to survive longer into winter and then emerge earlier in the spring, as you said, every season, I guess, is tick season. So will we see their populations grow? as they establish themselves sooner, meaning in the typically high season for ticks, will we see even more of them? It's possible. We don't know for sure yet, but certainly there are some forecasts that suggest that that's possible, but, but certainly through Canada, where we've seen that there's been a bit of a temperature barrier to ticks, that's being relieved a bit with climate change, right? So we're certainly going to see those populations push themselves a little bit farther north as we see this sort of extended fall warmer winter, early spring kinds of conditions that are coming with climate change, right? And so that's because winter is harsh for ticks, right? And so if it's cold outside, they can get a lot of injury inside of their bodies, and sometimes that can kill them. Um, and so if our winter is a little bit milder, then they don't get as much injury, and then they survive a little bit better. And so certainly that means that you could end up with a slightly larger population in the spring if we don't have that kind of source of mortality as much through the, yeah. through the winter. And then longer growing season as well can help them have another opportunity to find a blood meal and get on to that next stage of their life, that kind of thing. So certainly we're seeing that with climate change, that northward expansion, and then also the possibility that in those areas, um, sustaining larger populations as well. So we, I mean, we're around five weeks till Christmas and we're used to talking about frostbite, not about ticks. And the general right. advice for ticks in the summer is wear long sleeve clothing and pants. In the winter, we're already in a lot of that. So do ticks pose the same threats to us? I would say that in the winter, it's certainly a, a lowered risk of encountering ticks, especially because it is it's still colder, at least. Um, so the, the risk is lower, and especially because when it's winter, we think the ticks are um, likely under a big layer of leaf litter, and they're kind of staying insulated under there. Okay. However, even though you're covered, the thing is, is if you're traipsing through, you know, a bunch of deep leaf litter in the woods, you've gone for a nice woods walk around Christmas time or something with your family, and say it's, you know, 10, 12 degrees out, it's certainly possible that they're going to find you. They might crawl up your leg, that kind of thing from, from further down the ground. They might be able to get in under a shirt sleeve, those kinds of things. So it's still really prudent to check yourself if you're outside and certainly your pets are gonna pick them up as well. That's a, a lot of what we see across that eTIC platform um, is uh, uh, them coming in off of, of pets um, from being outside in the winter. My face so, isn't about what you're saying. Yeah. It's just about the ticks that we just showed sucking on the blood of someone's skin. Uh, listen, <laughs> uh, Laura Ferguson, I want to thank you so much. An interesting conversation. We will now keep looking for ticks on our pets and on our winter coats. Thanks so much for your information today. No problem. My pleasure. If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content 
posted every weekday morning.